Hi folks, if you don't know me, I'm Lee Jensen. Come check out Dragon Slayer Industries. If it wasn't for that, I couldn't do this. There'll be a link in the description. I'm gonna to talk to you today about filling propane tanks. That's not how we're gonna do it. Just filling, filling these little ones using this big one. Doesn't take much, I think. Uh, you can get this coupler on Amazon for seven bucks or something. You need that. It helps if you have a scale. I have a, uh, this is what I use for my packaging and stuff. It goes up to 200 pounds, but we don't need it anywhere near that. Something that goes just over two pounds, two and a half, three pounds scale would be great. And uh, with some, some sort of accuracy. And you're gonna need about an eighth inch Allen wrench for a bleeder. Anything like that that's round and blunt, we don't want it sharp, don't want it to bend anything but you, you have to let some air out of there. We'll just dive right into it. It doesn't take a whole lot. Now, there's a little bleeder over here on the side. I think these get painted more often than not. So I, I haven't run across one that worked very well yet. So you want to screw this onto your tank. Pretty straightforward. Like I said, we'll bleed it, this small tank. Okay, you can hear it run out of air pretty quickly. Still some in there though, because it's, it's plenty cold. We're gonna screw this onto here. Flip this whole rig upside down. And turn the valve on. I don't know if you can hear it or not. I can hear it transferring. It's not pressurized. It's not gonna transfer super fast. You wanna make sure you gotta have good ventilation. Don't have your fire going. Doors open, whatever. Think safety. I'm not the safest person in the world. This is just how I do it. But when you do it, think safety. Okay, so we're gonna shut the valve back off. We're gonna unscrew it. And it's gonna, a little bit's gonna seep out of there when it comes unsealed. Okay, nothing to worry about. Feel that there's some in there. So we're gonna bleed it again. Now that's where it's not going to bleed all out because you have some liquid in there. Turn the bottle on again. Sit here and wait for it. Quite a bit cheaper to do it this way. Four of these bottles would cost more than one of these big ones to get, but it is time consuming. However, if I'm not going to the store anyway and I have to go fill one of these, that's time consuming also. So it really helps me out just to be able to Go ahead and just fill a few of these, get it ready. I start my fires with it. I do other things with I help bend things with it and whatever. So I, I go through quite a bit of it. If you have any questions or anything, leave me a comment. I'll get around and answer it to you. If you have any video ideas, you see anything back here you want to know about, whatever it is, let us know. Go down in the description. We've got a link to Dragon Slayer Industries. Check that out. Get over and hit our Facebook, like it. Get a little bit of value out of this video, hit the like button, come back to see us some more, hit that subscribe button, whatever, it's all good. So if this thing's around 24, 30 ounces, because it's about 13 or 14 empty, 16 is a pound, they leave some air gap in there. There's a little room, but all goes wrong. So we're, we're at two pounds just over two pounds, 2.7 ounces. So, is that 32 ounces? So we're a little, uh, we're a little full. I don't think that's gonna hurt anything. Again, thank you for coming by and watching. If you got any value out of it, hit the like button. We we'll hope you subscribe and come back around it. So maybe do that. We'll understand if you don't. We'll catch you later.